Okay. Um, our next topic is molarity. Uh, molarity is moles over liter. So this big M stands for molarity. Then we have moles and we have liters. So we're talking about volume. Uh, molarity is talking about concentration. So if you think about like sweet tea, sweet tea could be unsweet, it could be sweet, or it could be like Bojangle sweet, super, super sweet tea. And those are all different concentrations of tea. Um, in these problems, we're going to be talking about concentrations of solutions. So the first problem is to find the molarity of a solution in which 58 grams of NaCl is dissolved in 2.5 liters. I'll underline my unknown, which is the molarity, and I'll also underline my given information. In these problems, you have two numbers for given information. So what you have to do is find out what it's asking you and then how do you get to your answer. Whenever you see molarity in a problem, the first thing I want you to do is write molarity equals moles divided by liters. Um, oh, that should be an equal sign. Molarity equals moles divided by liters. That should be the formula that you think of anytime you see a problem that has molarity or a, a number with a big M. And then what you're going to do is you're going to look back at the problem and see what you can plug in. So this problem tells me to find the molarity. So I know this is what I'm going to be looking for. I'll put a question mark there. Then it gives me 2.5 liters. So liters is clearly right here. So I'll plug in 2.5. And then I have moles and I have 58 grams. Well, that does me no good. Or does it? Uh, moles and grams can be converted using mole town. So what I'm going to do is for moles, I'm going to take my 58 grams and I'm going to convert. So 58 grams of NaCl and I'm trying to get from grams of NaCl to moles of NaCl. If you don't know how to do this step right here, this is part of our notes on moles. Um, this new part right here is just the molarity part. So what I'm going to do over here is I need my molar mass. Molar mass will go right here. And my molar mass in this case is going to be the mass of NaCl. So I will need the mass of sodium, which is 23 grams. I'll multiply by the amount. And then I'll need the mass of chlorine, which is 35 grams. And I'll multiply by the amount. If I add 23 plus 35, I get 58 grams. And that is grams per mole of chlorine, or NaCl, sorry. So I'll plug that in up here. 58 grams are in one mole. Uh, if you do that math, 58 divided by 58 gives you one mole of NaCl. So then all you have to do is take that information and plug it in over here. So the problem that I'll do is my molarity equals one mole of NaCl divided by 2.5 liters. Then you do one mole divided by 2.5 and your molarity is 0 0.4 molar. Units for molarity are that big M. So that is molarity. Um, and we'll do another problem just to make sure you get the hang of it. This one's going to be a little bit different. And I'm going to solve it in two ways so you can see the two ways to do this kind of problem. So the problem says how many grams of NaCl are required to make a 0.5 liters of 0.25 molar solution. Um, so since I see this molarity here, I'm going to start my problem by writing molarity equals moles divided by liters. Always, anytime I see molarity. Um, the problem is asking me for the number of grams, and then I also have this 0.5 liters. So I'm going to plug in what I know. I know I have 0.5 liters. I know that my molarity is 0.25 molar, and I'm trying to find the number of moles. Um, but that's not actually what the problem asked me for. The problem asked me for grams. So if I solve the problem this way, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to solve for moles and then convert moles into grams. So that's the way I'm going to do it in this first problem 
And then I'll show you the other way in a minute. Um, so when you do this problem, 0.25 molar equals moles divided by liters. All this is is an algebra problem. You have to multiply both sides by 0.5. So 0 0.25 times 0.5 liters equals the number of moles. And when you do that math, you get 0 0.125 moles. That's my number of moles. It is not my answer for this problem. I'm going to take that number and I'm going to plug it in uh, down here as my given information to convert with. So I'll have my moles of NaCl, and I'm going to convert from moles of NaCl to grams of NaCl. We figured out in the last problem that our molar mass is 58 grams, and that's 58 grams in one mole. So then all you have to do is multiply. You would want to make sure that your units cancel out properly, and they do. So my answer for this problem is 7.25 grams of NaCl. That is way number one. I'm going to show you way number two, and way number two is using mole counts to solve this problem. So the other way you could solve this problem would be to use mole counts. Um, and think about what the problem tells you. The problem gives you the volume, right here in liters, there's volume village. It gives you the molarity, which is your conversion factor, and it also asks you to find the number of grams, which is right here. So what you would need to do if you solve this problem using mole town is you would need to convert from volume to moles and then from moles to mass. So this would be a two-step problem. So if I set this problem up like that, I'll start with my given information. And the tricky part about solving the problem this way is that you have to realize what that given information is. You can't start the problem in this transition area. So it gives you the molarity, that's a transition area. You can't start there. You have to start at volume village. So I'll start with 0.5 liters of NaCl. And I'll convert from NaCl from liters of NaCl to moles of NaCl. And Moltown told me it was going to be a two-step problem, so I'll get rid of moles of NaCl. And I'm going to grams of NaCl, because that's what it asked me for. Um, the other piece of information that I'll need is my molarity. And remember that molarity equals moles divided by liters. So my molarity will be what I plug in for this step right here. And over here, I will plug in my molar mass right here. Um, my molarity that the problem gave me was 0.25 molar. And my molar mass that we figured out earlier was 58 grams per mole. 0.25 molar is the same thing as saying there are 0.25 moles in one liter. So what I can do is I can plug that information in up here for my molarity. So 0.25 mole is in one liter. That's my molarity. And then 58 grams are in one mole. And that's my molar mass. So then I multiply on the top and divide by the bottom uh, and make sure my units cancel out. Liters of NaCl is on the top and the bottom and moles of NaCl is on the top and the bottom. So your answer for this problem would be 0 0.5 times 0 0.25 times 58 and you would get 7.25 grams of NaCl just like you did in the first part of this problem. You just have to pick which method works best for you, and that's how you solve molarity problems.